Welcome to unofficial coverage of the 2010 Aurelia Santa Claus Parade, brought to you by B-Team News. Good afternoon and welcome to the unofficial coverage of the 2010 Aurelia Santa Claus Parade. I'm Rudolph Merriman, and this afternoon we'll be talking with Dave Devine in the field. Dave's got some very interesting interviews and reports for us. So let's get started down on the street. Um, over to you, Dave Devine. Thanks, Rudolph. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Great day for a parade. Some people are so excited that they've been lining up since yesterday. I've seen this man here since yesterday for the Santa Claus Parade. I haven't seen him go to eat, use the bathroom, anything. He hasn't even slept people. He hasn't sat down. Well, I'm really excited for what's about to happen today. So I thought before the parade got underway here, we'd uh, walk around the streets of Aurelia and uh, gauge some of the, uh, the reaction to today's parade. Some people just can't wait for the parade. We've got one cat here. Sir, how long have you been waiting for the parade to start? No comment. Hello, Good afternoon, sir. David Devine, B Channel News. How do you do? Hi, how you doing? I'd ask you your name, but I've decided to call you Superfan, so it's irrelevant now. Now, Superfan, I've seen you've been here since yesterday. What's with that? I have. I came down to get a good seat. Big fan of Santa. Santa number one. Santa! 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 <laughs> and, uh, Superfan, I see you've been uh, holding a float of sorts. Could you show us this float? Well, I thought this year I would join the parade. I think this year I have a real winner here. This is, uh... Something I've been working on since July. Super fan, let me ask you this. Um, have you received any authorization to partake in this year's parade? Uh, not really, but I'm sure it'll be cool because Santa's number one. <laughs> Santa, Santa, Santa. Your secret's safe with me. Back to you. And you, sir, what does this day mean to you and your sense of civic pride? Oh, I just finished doing the 50th coat of wax on my Honda Civic. So proud of it. It's so beautiful and it's so shiny. Are you getting? Is your car in the parade? Parade? Uh, I'm just talking about my car, bra. <laughs> oh, hello, sir. You must be waiting for the Santa Claus parade too. Yeah, I am. Who wants to know? Oh, I just saw you over here. You're looking around like you're expecting someone. What are you waiting to see Santa for? What are you excited about? Uh, I need to talk to him uh, about that lump of coal he left me last year. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I need to talk to him. Okay, I think I saw him back that way somewhere. Okay, uh, uh, thank you, sir. I, I, I gotta go. Oh, what a nice guy. Back to you, Dave Devine. Thanks, Tad. Thanks, Rudolph. I'm here with Rusty LaRue, local entertainer. Rusty, I see you brought your children out to the parade today. Yes, I think it's very important to bring children out to see things in the terrible time of year. I agree. Don't you think it's uh, pretty lucky for Aurelia of all the major city centers across the globe? Santa's come to Aurelia today. Why do you think he's chosen Aurelia out of New York, London, Tokyo, all the major cities? Maybe the boys and girls here are the best ones in the world. I would tend to agree with that statement. It really is pretty awesome. Now, uh, Rusty, um, does this parade and the fact that Santa has graced us with his presence today, does it, uh, does it enhance your sense of pride about living in Aurelia? Very much so. Very nice. You know, when I was a kid, I, uh, I had this master scheme that I would try to steal Santa's presence and his sleigh by putting medicine in his milk and cookies. But it didn't work out. Every time I woke up, it was always my dad passed out on the floor. So, maybe next year. Back to you, Tad and Rudolph. And we'd like to thank our sponsors today. Uh, this would not be possible without the great support of Jake's Pest Control. Bed bugs, silverfish, roaches? Don't worry about it. Call Jake's and you'll be okay. This month's special, Ether Bomb Treatment. Never again will you be troubled by silverfish, roaches, or bed bugs. Ether bombs. And we are taking questions from the parade crowd today. So, um, oh, my producer tells me we do have one call on the air already. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air live with uh, B Channel. Who am I going to hear? 
Uh, what, what's going on where you are in the parade there, caller? Uh, my name's Jim. I would like two extra large pizzas. Um, the pizza, the first. Ah, uh, okay. Four orders of the anchovies. Ah, uh, Jim, Three. uh, we got the wrong number, uh. Okay, so if you do have something interesting going on from where you are in the parade, give us a call. The number here is 555-2248. And we've got some breaking news coming into the desk here. Uh, my producer tells me that there's a situation involving a float. It's, oh my goodness, it's, this is not good. This is actually involving Santa's float. Uh, apparently somebody has... Yeah, somebody has kidnapped Santa Claus. Um, we're going to cut to the street and see if we can get any uh, breaking news uh, on the scene. Nope, nothing here. <laughs> and we're back at the control center for the 2010 Santa Claus parade here in sunny Aurelia. It is a chilly day. Um, we just had word that there was an abduction of Santa Claus on the parade route. And... Um, we didn't have any, any information down at street level, but oh, we do have a call coming in, and go, go ahead, caller, you're on the air live with uh, with Rudolph Merriman here at the... Uh, yeah, we got the fat man. You got the fat man. We got the fat man, we have some demands. You've got Pair Noel, and you have some demands. Well, um, what... Okay, and what else? One official parade umbrella. Okay. crazy there. We got a lot of kids here. Hello? Okay, um, good thing we've got the police uh, listening to what's going on here. Uh, we're just going to go to a few words from our sponsors here right now. And we must thank our friends at the Aurelia Vacuum Clinic. Dirty floors, dusty couches, we can help. OVC, we really suck, but in a good way. You know what we mean. And we're back. Um, we might, we've got another caller on the line here. It's actually the chief of police. Uh, are you there, chief? Oh, yeah. It's a good day, Rudolph. Uh, yeah, you were... Uh, how, how's the situation there with uh, with the abduction of Santa Claus? What's going on? Well, you know, typically uh, we don't like to negotiate with these scumbags. But uh, during your commercial break there, basically I just sent some officers over with some coffee and timbits, and they let Santa go. No problem. So, the hostage situation has been resolved? It's over? Yeah, well, they let Santa go. Santa's back in his float. Uh, as a matter of fact, there he is over there. I see him now. Uh, everything's taken care of. The perps got the coffee, and uh, everyone's happy. Excellent. We're going to go take a look at some more floats down at the street, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll be back before you know it. <laughs> I love your umbrella. Free, I love your umbrella. Free, I love your umbrella. Free, I love your umbrella.